Jimmy Fallon welcomes Brian Cranston. NBC Tonight. American woman. And I gotta sing this song. All right, spray me. Oh. Next Tuesday, Jam goes virtual. All right, this is gonna be tough. Well, it's gonna be tough if you do that. That's my jam. Next Tuesday on NBC. Monday and Tuesday, the final blind auditions bring out the biggest voices, the biggest surprises, and the biggest, well... That's a big finger, and it's one of the bigger fingers I've seen. <laughs> the Voice, all new Monday and Tuesday on NBC. On our broadcast tonight, a local tribal leader in Madison today will hear his message to the Wisconsin legislature. Plus, racism at a boys' basketball game. We'll see how parents from two Wisconsin schools came together. And a Three Lakes track and field star has her sights set on another state's title. Your local news starts right now. News Watch 12 with Dan Hagen, Jessica Jukic, and Jeff Weller. Good evening and welcome to News Watch 12 at 10. I'm Dan Hagen. And I'm Jessica Jukic. The State of the Tribes is an annual address to state legislators by a leader of one of 11 federally recognized tribes in Wisconsin. Today, the chairman for the Chicago Chippewa community of Forest County delivered the address. News Watch 12's Nick Van Zell was at the address and has the latest from Madison. Chicago Chippewa Chairman Robert Van Zyl Jr. delivered the 19th annual State of the Tribes Address Tuesday. The annual speech is an opportunity for tribal communities to share initiatives and goals with the state legislature. Of the points brought up during the address, Chairman Van Zyl touched on gaming, tourism, the environment, and improving health care. To allow tribes to be able to function with nurse practitioners without physicians, supervision, would be very helpful in delivering quality health care. Van Zyl says that Native people need to be able to access physical and mental health care without having to travel long distances. He then took aim at what he called illegal gaming in taverns and bars. Without proper protections in place, consumers are left to wonder if tavern gaming manufacturers, suppliers, operators are manipulating devices for personal gain. Rob Swearingen is the former Tavern League president and current state representative. Uh, I was really surprised that he might single out uh, Tavern Gaming. And also keeping in mind that uh, gaming machines are in gas stations right now as well. The speech continued and discussed the environment, missing and murdered indigenous women and relatives, supporting tribal law enforcement, and finally education. Van Zyl also called on schools continuing to use native images for their mascots and logos to change. And we think a good way to overcome those might be to provide some one-time funding for tribal from tribal gaming proceeds to share in the cost of making those changes. That was Nick Van Zyl reporting. A big topic of discussion among the tribes of northern Wisconsin lately has been the barricades put up on four roads within the Lac de Flambeau Reservation. Yesterday, the tribe came to an agreement with the town of Lac de Flambeau to open up the roads for 90 days as negotiations continue. At the conclusion of the State of the Tribe's address today, Northwoods Assemblyman Rob Swearingen spoke to us on where the tribe and community go from here. He says hopefully those barricades stay off the roads from now on. These people are all neighbors, and I think the tribe made its point. I think they're within the right to do what they did, but they made their point. It was time for those barricades to come down. Swearingen went on to say that while a temporary solution has been agreed on, there's still a lot to work to be done. Well, after a cold start to the day, Jeff, it became kind of nice outside. It's not just the snow, it's also the cold 10 below this morning. But are we out of the woods with the snow? No, no, we're not. We have more snow on the way. Not tonight, not tomorrow night, but Thursday into Friday. That snow could be locally heavy once again. But check out these lows this morning. Down near 10 below Bervita, also in Rhinelander, 16 below in Tomahawk, 17 below in Mantwich, which waters land of lakes. That's not normal. The average low is about 15 or 16. All of us were lower than that today. But we recovered nicely, 33 today in Rhinelander, 30 for Anago, 33 for Wausau. So it's comfortable, the average high being 37, 38. No one really did that today, but we will get there tomorrow as much warmer air is on. We're going to melt a lot of snow tomorrow. Lots of clear skies across the area now. That could give us a cool night ahead with low temperatures down near 17. But then all attention turns over here. This thing, uh, there's a lot going on here, and that's all kind of moving our direction. That's going to bring us a long-duration rain 
and then snow event beginning late tomorrow night, more so later on Thursday, changing to snow Thursday, and that snow could be heavy at times Thursday night into Friday, and maybe even to Saturday morning as well. Our forecast then tonight, though, is partly cloudy skies, low temperatures down near 17. Your full forecast is coming up, Dan and Jessica. A 93-year-old man from Tomahawk was arrested earlier this month for child sex crimes. Glenn Wagner is charged with first-degree child sexual assault with a person under the age of 13, repeated sexual assault of the same child, child enticement, and exposing genitalia to a child. Wagner was arrested on March 7th after an investigation found several reports of sexual assault that occurred at a private property near Birchwood Avenue in Tomahawk. The police chief is encouraging anyone with additional information to come forward. Wagner is scheduled to be in court again on March 15th for a preliminary hearing. Police in Wisconsin say a dead infant found in a field near a trailer park earlier this month was a boy. Whitewater residents gathered to hold a candlelight vigil for the unidentified infant this weekend. Authorities discovered the baby boy's body on March 4th. The infant had been wrapped in a shirt with no other clothes. He had been placed inside a plastic bag inside a cardboard box. It's not known who his parents were. The Adams County Sheriff's Office has received reports of a telephone scam where cops impersonate Impersonating cops threaten to arrest or prosecute the person if money isn't paid. The sheriff's office wants to remind people law enforcement will never contact you by telephone and threaten arrest if money's not paid. And to never give personal identifying or financial information to a stranger over the phone. With Silicon Valley Bank going under, some in Washington are aiming to shore up banking rules. In 2018, a bill signed into law by President Trump rolled back oversight and regulation for mid-sized banks like SVB. Senator Tammy Baldwin introduced the Secure Viable Banking Act today. It would repeal part of that 2018 law. Baldwin says the new bill would stop the pressure these banks face to load up on risk and increase profits, in turn giving American people peace of mind that their money is safe. Ben Wickler announced he will seek another term as Democratic Party of Wisconsin chair. He's serving his third term right now. A third term would put Wickler at the helm for the state Democrats through 2024 election cycle. Wickler has ramped up fundraising during his time as chair, bringing in nearly $24 million through its main state account. The EPA issued its first ever proposed limits for PFAS today, well below the state's limit that was set last summer. The proposed federal drinking water standards for PFAS are four parts per trillion, which is much lower than Wisconsin's standard of 70 parts per trillion. The proposal would limit the two most common types of PFAS compounds called PFOA and PFOS. The public will have a chance to comment and the agency can make changes before issuing a final rule, which is expected by the end of the year. The Association of State Drinking Water Administrators called the proposal a step in the right direction, but said compliance will be challenging. For one educational center in Manitowish Waters, the countdown is on for its grand reopening of its new nature center. The North Lakeland Discovery Center is dedicated to connecting people to nature. They're currently installing displays for the new space. The project was made possible by the community, both financially through donations and with volunteer helpers. Eric Koster leads the volunteers and is also a chair for the center's board. It will be educational primarily, but it's also going to be interactive. So we think that the younger kids coming in here will really have some fun, you know, with the various things that will be on display. Artwork on the site was made by local muralists, and other exhibits include a canoe, eagle's nest, wildlife display, and more. The exhibit is set to open in May. Having a child choose one sport to focus on may seem like a good idea to some. Coming up, we'll hear why that could lead to some health problems. Plus, heavy snow likely led to a mall's roof to collapse in Duluth. We'll have that story after weather with Jeff, right here on News Watch 12. Was brutal. I bet. Hey, 
Can I use Apple CarPlay to put some music on? Sure. It's wireless. What's your Buick's Wi-Fi password? It's uh, Buick Envision. That's a really tight spot. I used to hate parallel parking. Me too. The Buick Envision. Built around you. All of you. Get 3.9% APR for five years and no monthly payments for 90 days. Plus, current eligible non-GM owners get $750 purchase allowance on Buick Envision models. It's hard being a smoker. Hmm. I've heard all the lectures. You know, you shouldn't smoke. I know all the signs. I've seen all the faces. I know the money it costs me. But that doesn't change the fact that it's hard to quit. The Wisconsin Tobacco Quit Line. No judgments, just free health and medications. Call the Wisconsin Tobacco Quit Line at 1-800-QUIT-NOW. Wisconsin seniors depend on Social Security. But extremist Dan Kelly doesn't care about them. Kelly wrote that Social Security was similar to slavery. And Kelly insulted seniors by writing that those on Social Security are, quote, people who have chosen to retire without sufficient assets to support themselves. Do you want a radical like that on the Supreme Court? Dan Kelly, an extremist who doesn't care about us. Us. This isn't us. Uh -huh. Is it? When do we get so connected to our devices and so disconnected from each other? And when our phones have turned us into this? LT, what do you do when you're a company that sells them? We gotta fix this. It's time to find what we're missing. Join us in taking a break oh. from our devices. Take the phones down for five challenge for five days, five hours, or even just five minutes. Feels good. <laughs> and let's find us again. U.S. Cellular. Built for us. To the right, take middle, and on the left. Yeah, I knew I'd win. Are you saying What's something? Really happening over there? I think you're on mute. There's no substitute for real gaming fun. Go where fun lives. Old <laughs> Chung Gaming Wittenberg. <laughs> This was fun. Low temperatures down well below zero this morning. We will not be this cold tonight. In fact, low temperatures near 17 above today. And then overall today, we did 33 here in Rhinelander, 30 for Anigo, a couple mid-30s, not many. But tomorrow, oh, tomorrow, we're going to kick in a south wind, and it's going to give uh, temps a boost up into the upper 30s to mid-40s for high temperatures across the area tomorrow. The average high is 38. The average low is 17. The record low, 18 below back in 1895 the sunset earlier at 702 and here we are snowfall wise for the season 93.6 so the fifth snowiest season on record and we are going to add some more snow to that not tonight not tomorrow uh, more so thursday night into friday around here there could be another pretty good snow system across the midwest and great lakes okay out there now though it's 21 here in rhinelander 15 for andigo 21 for mosinee so it's uh, comfortable but again we're not gonna have lows like we did last night or well below zero all right going forward though so tomorrow 43 we're going to melt a lot of snow across the area tomorrow 41 for thursday 33 friday look what happened saturday we're going to pull in some much colder air for one day before hanging out in the mid 30s again and again that's near the averages of 37 and 38 this time of year the temperature results are in from february it came back as the fourth warmest february on record globally so that's land and ocean temperatures on this map red is above average blue is below looks like lots of red during the month of february okay so we have some more snow to talk about so of course we have below zero temperatures this morning and now we have tomorrow tomorrow's gonna be just fine tomorrow night there could be a few rain showers across the area that could linger into early parts of thursday and then at some point thursday from northwest to southeast we're going to change the rain over to snow once that happens it won't go back and likely going to get kind of heavier on here too especially along and north of highway 8 all courtesy of this system to the west of us now this thing means business lots of energy lots of moisture lots of ump and support in the atmosphere it's going to make a colorado low tomorrow and these things are notorious for bringing some really good snowfalls across our area on its current track just south of our area we're in a good spot for some snow again but starting off as some rain on thursday and changing over when exactly that changeover happens still a bit of a mystery but it gets the idea as 
we have a rain-snow mix on the way for us. Let's walk you through it. So here we are tonight into tomorrow, and then by Wednesday, here we are Thursday at 10, 11 o'clock in the morning, rain and snow just to our west, and then by in the evening Thursday, 11 o'clock, this is all heavy snow for much of north-central Wisconsin. That pulls out of here. The heavy stuff does by Friday morning, but we're going to keep that light to moderate snow around for a couple of days around here, most likely into Saturday afternoon once again. And when it's all said and done, it'll look something like this, uh, a widespread, probably six to eight inch snowfall along and north of Highway 8. Uh, there, there's a chance I could be underdoing this just a bit, where we could bump it up tomorrow, but we'll see. We have more moisture, of course, on the way. And of course, all this moisture and snow has weight to it on your roof right now. A foot of snow is about 9,000 extra pounds. We're going to add some more weight to your roof beginning tomorrow night. Our forecast then tonight, though, is probably cloudy skies, low temperatures down near 17. For tomorrow, it's Wednesday, mostly cloudy, breezy, and warmer, high temperatures near 43. And then looking ahead, your seven day forecast by North Furniture Metro shows uh, tomorrow night we get wet, Thursday rain changing to snow, snow heavy on Friday, lingering into Saturday morning. Dan? On three feet of snow depth in Duluth, Minnesota, a roof of a popular mall caved in this morning. Crews were on the roof of Miller Hill Mall earlier this week, but got off immediately because they were hearing popping sounds. Today, they were back at the mall evaluating the building right when it collapsed. Morgan Anderson was getting the Jimmy Johns inside the mall ready to open when it happened. She said everyone is lucky that the roof didn't collapse during a busier time. Even if it happened on a different day, like Saturdays are pretty crazy. But yeah, I mean, it could have been so much worse if it was when we were open at all, honestly. After the collapse, first responders smelled a strong gas odor and found a gas leak, which they've since cut off. They searched the entire mall and didn't find anyone stuck or injured. There's a recent trend of younger athletes focusing on one sport and quitting other sports. In tonight's edition of Feel Great Today, we'll explain what sports specialization is and the problems it's causing. Feel Great Today with Jessica Jukic. Sports specialization is a concept right now where student athletes at a younger age are concentrating on one sport versus doing multiple sports or multiple physical activity. Ryan Flynn is an athletic trainer for Aspirus Northland Orthopedics. He works with Tomahawk and Rhinelander students to increase strength and flexibility. Flynn says studies have shown sports specialization can cause issues for students in the long run. Because we have kids that are like mainly concentrating on baseball per se from six years old all the way up and what they're realizing is these kids are like they're having a better skill set within their sport but they're at higher risk of injury because they're not developing their body fully across the spectrum. Flynn notices the negative impacts of sports specialization by the time students get to high school. He says the repetitive motions from one sport puts teens at a higher risk of injury. Once they start maturing and going through puberty, um, if they're not well-rounded, that's really when you start noticing that you know, you'll get a dead arm, for example, throwing or heavy shoulder issues with volleyball from all the overhead activities, things like that. He says sports specialization puts students at risk for tendon snapping or body deformities. To prevent injuries, Flynn recommends a variety of sports and activities. Let kids be kids. I expose them to multiple activities, multiple uh, f physical activities, you know, and it's not even just sports related, like go cross country skiing in the winter, snowshoeing, summer go swimming, boating, you know, just expose your kids to multiple things and don't, don't expect that when all this time in one thing is going to pay out in the long run. Thanks for the insight. Next Tuesday night, we'll discuss how athletic trainers respond to emergencies that happen during games. Coming up, we'll catch up with the reigning state champion in the high jump, Callie Volk from Three Lakes. Plus, the end could be near for the Aaron Rodgers saga in Green Bay. Serenity Douglas will have the details after the break. Can we really trust him with a car? Of course we can, Lindsay, with AAA auto insurance. Wait, AAA has auto insurance? We do home insurance, too. Switch and save on AAA Auto Insurance and expect something more. Spectrum presents The Download with Clarissa. Everyone is talking about Spectrum One. Man, give us a download. Clarissa, people are switching because Spectrum is offering seamless connectivity with Spectrum Internet, advanced Wi-Fi, and unlimited mobile. 
That's the future of connectivity. That's Spectrum One. Switch to Spectrum One and get 300 megabit internet for $49.99 a month, plus free advanced Wi-Fi and one free line of unlimited mobile. Call 1-833-883-4999. What's unique about Spectrum Internet? Spectrum Internet has the most consistent download speeds and no data caps. How secure is the Wi-Fi? The advanced Wi-Fi comes with enhanced privacy and security features that block online threats. Why is Spectrum Mobile the fastest growing mobile provider? Spectrum Mobile is super reliable and it includes 5G nationwide. Plus unlimited calls, texts, and data. Switch to Spectrum One and get 300 megabit internet for $49.99 a month, plus free advanced Wi-Fi and one free line of unlimited mobile. Call 1-833-883-4999. Call now or visit a Spectrum store today. At Lens Truck, we've made the buying experience fast and easy. All our trucks are guaranteed clean certified, can be bought hassle-free online, and can be delivered right to your door. It's our way of saying thanks to our past and future customers for the last 35 years. And when you buy a Lens Truck, know that you're buying the best used truck money can buy. Go now to LensTruck.com. You'll find over 800 used trucks, all priced to move. Go now to LensTruck.com. Lens Truck. Trust him with a car. Of course we can, Lindsay. With AAA Auto Insurance. Wait, AAA has auto insurance? We do home insurance too. Switch and save on AAA Auto Insurance and expect something more. Coming up on your Wednesday, we'll be joined by Alice in Dairyland. All right, another nice day on the way before active weather moves in with rain with a transition to snow. We'll need to watch that closely. More when you tune in on your Wednesday from 5 to 7 a.m. It doesn't feel warmer outside yet, but spring sports are almost in full bloom. Callie Volk is a multi-sport athlete ready to spring forward into her third sport this season, which is track and field, only two weeks after her basketball season concluded. I got the chance to, to catch up with the jack of all trades earlier today. You got it. Here we go. Here we go. Callie Volk started running competitively in sixth grade and hasn't stopped since. Sixth grade through sophomore year, my favorite sport was definitely cross country. But once I kind of transitioned into sprinting and field events, it just became my favorite. Callie is a four sport athlete, also competing in basketball and volleyball. She just finished up her basketball season two weeks ago. Obviously, it's a very quick turnover, but... I mean, I think basketball definitely helps me prepare for track. Being in multiple sports really just eases the transition and helps prepare for the seasons to come. It takes a certain type of athlete to do multiple sports year-round. Her dad, Charlie Volk, who was also the Three Lakes Athletic Director, says Callie has worked hard for all of her accomplishments. Callie's a tremendous worker. Um, she's in here three, four times a week in the weight room in the morning early. Um, she's been committed um, going to camps and training outside of the season. Callie signed to the University of Wisconsin-Milwaukee this fall to run track and field. She's excited to run along her older sister, Courtney, who's currently at UWM. My sister is my biggest role model because I see her competing at the Division One level at Milwaukee right now. So she's definitely someone that I look up to and I aspire to be like one day. But track and field is an outdoor sport, which can get very challenging with the frigid Wisconsin weather. Definitely have to stay mentally strong through all of it just because Mother Nature will throw anything in the bag in you. Just know that Better is coming and the warmer weather is coming so you can get outside and then that's when you can really take it to the next level. The NFL world, myself included, is still on the Aaron Rodgers watch and it's becoming more and more likely that he is going to the New York Jets. Today, the Jets signed a longtime Packers receiver, Alan Lazard, to a multi-million dollar deal. Multiple sources are reporting that Rodgers has a wish list of players he would like to have join him if he makes the move. Some of those players are longtime Packers, including Island Lazard, Randall Cobb, and Mercedes Lewis. And one of those players is already a done deal. The Jets have finalized a contract with Alan Lazard that is four years worth $44 million. The deal includes $22 million guaranteed. That's a whole lot of money. More after the break. For 25 years, Janet Protasewicz was a prosecutor, fighting for justice for victims of crime, helping people like her and him and them. She believes everyone has the right to a safe community. 
As a judge, Janet upholds the Constitution, and she fiercely guards our rights and our freedoms. Judge Janet will bring change to the court. A common sense, impartial judge who cares about us. Janet Protasewicz for Supreme Court. This is how legends are made. Chevy Silverado and new Silverado HD. Choose your own path with the number one best-selling retail full-size pickup and see where it takes you. Find new roads. It's Chevy truck season. Get 0% financing plus make no monthly payments for 90 days on all Silverado 1500 pickups. And current Chevy owners get 2500 cash allowance on this Silverado with the turbo high output engine. Chevrolet, the number one selling brand in Wisconsin. You've got this. 10 days, two kids, and the open road. Tourist traps, set. Souvenir allowances, dispersed. Juice boxes, abundant. You've got this. Just like Associated Banks got you with access to over 30,000 surcharge-free ATMs. So when must-see attractions become must-pay-with-cash adventures, we've got you. Mom, why is the front door open? You've got this with Associated Bank. At Lakeside Living Design, we've always got something stylish in store for you. Whether you're looking for high-quality custom upholstery, decorative accessories and gifts, or are designing your space entirely from scratch, you'll have a friendly designer by your side sharing their expertise, helping you bring your unique style to life. So stop by, explore our showroom, and together we'll make your space feel just like home. Get 11% off everything now at Menards. For a tradition of performance, choose Pittsburgh Grand Distinction Interior Paint. It's a premium paint and primer for only $32.89 after 11% rebate. Revolution Super Premium Paint and Primer features game-changing stain resistance. It sustains a freshly painted look and washes away messes with ease. Pick up a gallon today for only $44.49 after 11% rebate now at Menards. Save big money at Menards. Southwest Airlines is increasing staffing to avoid a repeat of the mass cancellations that stranded tens of thousands of passengers over the last part of 2022. The company is facing a $350 million loss from last year's holiday debacle. The airline canceled more than 16,000 flights to close out 2022. To avoid a repeat, the airline is planning to purchase more equipment to de-ice planes and increase staffing levels. Southwest is also improving its scheduling platforms. Protesters were not allowed to speak publicly at a Wisconsin school board meeting about racist behavior at a recent basketball game. The school district says it's investigating, but would not allow any public comment on the incident. Caroline Reinwald has the details. After standing silently for the better part of an hour, families made their wants known at a Muskego Norway school district board meeting. What do we want? Justice! What do we want it? Now! They're protesting racist behavior seen in a varsity boys basketball game on March 3rd. We might have lost, but like that, they got the kind of stuff they got on their locker room. Beloy players finding racial slurs and swastikas drawn in the dust on Muskego's guest locker room. Coaches and parents also telling 12 News they saw some Muskego students dressing and acting racist towards Beloit players. Chants that were said and the um, noises that were made to imply that one of the students on the team was a monkey. We have so many seniors on the team. My son is a senior as well, and that's the last um, time that they are playing a high school game, and they had to deal with that. Those same parents on Monday surprised to see Muskego family standing with them in solidarity. I have to be honest. At first, I thought, you know, it would just be people just kicking under the rug, but we have so much love and support coming from some of the people in Muskego, and they didn't want this f whole community to be painted the way some folks painted it at the game. I think the district response has been weak. Um, I want an actual condemnation of racist behavior in all forms. I think it's pretty simple to say we condemn racism in all forms, and I haven't seen it yet. At Monday's meeting, board members ignoring their cries. As police blocked reporters and protesters from approaching. A group of protesters denied any opportunity to speak to the board either one-on-one -on -one or publicly at the podium. If consequences were going to be swift, they would have been done already. I think there's enough physical evidence, video evidence, that there's no need for a long, drawn-out investigation.
Menke Automotive is your new neighbor in central Wisconsin, so now you've got a friend in the auto business. Menke Automotive prides ourselves on having happy employees because happy employees make for happy customers. When you need a new Buick, GMC, or Mazda, expert service, precision body work, or just a hot cup of coffee, come in and get to know us at Menke Automotive at the old Fred Miller location on Grand Avenue in Schofield. Menke Automotive, your new neighbors in central Wisconsin. Today, it seems everyone can be their own service technician thanks to the Internet. From servicing their own cars and engines to home remodels and projects, people are trying a little of everything. Here at Maher Water Corporation, we employ nationally certified and factory trained technicians to keep your water treatment systems working to their full lives. We will treat you like our own family. So if you want us to service your equipment, give us a call. But if you're the fix-it-yourself kind of person, we'll enjoy your funny video clips. Good news. This just in. Your Ford dealers have fresh shipments of their award-winning SUV lineup in stock and ready for you to drive home today. Get your hands on a new Ford, the number one brand in SUV owner loyalty, including Bronco Sport with standard GOAT modes and Explorer, America's all-time best-selling SUV. And now, here's more good news. Choose Flex Buy on Escape and get 2.9% APR financing for 66 months plus 1,500 Flex Buy cash. Don't let a storm keep you in the dark ever again. Contact the experts at Christopher Electric, proudly providing backup power services in the central Wisconsin area. Their team will complete the job from start to finish, no third party necessary, and will fit your home with the perfect Generac standby generator. Generac helps protect your home and family from the risks associated with power outages. So don't miss out on this limited time offer. Christopher Electric and Generac, call for your free home consultation today. Sexual assault of an 11-year-old. No prison time. He raped a military veteran. Left her for dead just two and a half years. Raped a mentally disabled 14-year-old. Probation. How the heck did this happen? Janet Prudisawitz. If you could go back in time, would you have ruled any differently? I would say no. Really? No time in prison? I would say no. Rhoda Saywitz set violent criminals free. Again and again. Tell Judge Rhoda Saywitz, stop protecting criminals. Join the conversation when you're on the go. Follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram to stay up to date. News Watch 12, from where you live. All right, so it's Pi Day today, you know, March 14th. But think about it. If you take 314 and you reverse it, it spells out Pi. Isn't that freaky, you guys? Yeah, so you guys are just have the blankest faces I right now. Wish I wish we had some home. pie here. That would make me more so, excited. But you don't get, do you get it? I don't think I get it at all. <laughs> Jeff, no. let's talk about the weather. <laughs> all right, let's go to the graphics right now. We got clear skies across the state. Not as cold tonight, but our next system is over here to the west. That is going to begin to bring us some rain showers late tomorrow night. And then rain changing to snow on Thursday. Here's my thinking of snowfall forecast, basically along north of Highway 8. Could see more than six inches of snow, but there is also a chance I could be underdoing this. More guidance comes in tomorrow. We'll update the graph tomorrow afternoon. Because pi is 3.14, right? Mm -hmm. I don't and think I like this. Sure. We'll talk about we'll this We'll see you back here tomorrow. <laughs> There's no way to count the number of sandwiches you've packed over the years. Hard to imagine this day would come. Yeah, there's still the same fields, the same roads, the same hard work. But now they're in someone else's hands. And you couldn't be more proud of who you're handing the farm to. No matter what the future holds, Ag Country is here to help you plan ahead. You ain't seen this nothing. is Ford Truck Month, America. Time to get up and get into Ford F-150, part of F-Series, America's best-selling trucks for 46 years straight. All amped up and ready for work or play. Plus, there's a great selection in stock and ready for delivery today. So get into Ford Truck Month and see what a built Ford Tough truck can do for you. Now, choose Flex Buy on a 2022 F-150 with 2.9% APR financing for 66 months and 1,000 Flex Buy cash plus 1,000 Ford credit cash. 
Oh, no, I think I lost my debit card. Okay, don't panic. Don't panic. We're in a mall. Some stranger's probably tapping new shoes, tapping a washer-dryer combo, just tapping everything in sight. It's okay. Just tap your phone. With BMO, you can use your phone to freeze and unfreeze a lost card. I can? And you can always get a new card instantly at a BMO branch. I got my tap back. You ever seen someone this excited about a debit card before? Oh, yeah. Oh. Mm. Not this excited. When a bank gives you instant peace of mind, that's the BMO effect. Wisconsin seniors depend on Social Security, but extremist Dan Kelly doesn't care about them. Kelly wrote that Social Security was similar to slavery. And Kelly insulted seniors by writing that those on Social Security are, quote, people who have chosen to retire without sufficient assets to support themselves. Do you want a radical like that on the Supreme Court?